Well, good evening. It's a real pleasure tonight. This is Dr. John Brimhall to have with us Patrick K. Porter, PhD, who has been in the psychological realm ever since he was a young boy following his father around. We were just talking before we went on the air that uh, I practiced child abuse as my kids were growing up. They started off when they were big enough to walk to empty the garbage cans and set up chairs and then to actually take notes in the office. And all three of my sons are our physicians, orthopedic surgeon, chiropractor, and a dentist, and uh, was the youngest son becomes. And uh, Dr. Porter also followed his his father around, who was in a psychologist, as Dr. Porter is, and they did the Silva mind control. It was called back when I was was growing up in this area, and he went on to get his doctorate in psychology and also in counseling. So that's a that's amazing. He can clarify other things for us, and he's a one of the the fellows that took neurolinguistic programming to the level it is. Maybe he's even the one that talked to Tony Robbins into starting to learn it. So rather than me take any more time, I'd like him to clarify a little bit more of his education, some of the things he did to be to the stage he's now with BrainTap. Uh, where he's joining us for homecoming in February 25th, 6th, and 7th, or 20, let me see, how's it go? 20, 22nd is a Thursday night we treat and set up and 23rd, 4th, and 5th is when we're going to be actually teaching, and Dr. Porter is going to be there all weekend long with multiple chairs set up, demonstrating and teaching his brain tap technique, plus he's going to be on the platform as well. So, Dr. Porter, let's turn it over to you. Okay, thank you, Dr. John. Uh, first of all, you know, when I was learning this, my dad, I was very fortunate that my dad always said that no one talks about the expense of ignorance, but uh, they want to talk about how expensive it is for an education, so I was very fortunate. My dad was really into training and learning, and he got into neurolinguistic programming first. And he got he introduced me to when they were all together. Uh, and I didn't train Anthony Robbins, but I was there when he was taking his training. And uh, you know, he took it to heights unknown. You know, he's a very charismatic person. Where I took it into a franchise model. I took the technology, and we created. Um, at, by the time I sold it in 2003, we had 108 locations around the country. And we were teaching people how to do coaching before the word coaching was such a big thing that it is today. It seems like everybody's a coach. Uh, but what we want to do is teach people how to have, just as our title says, how to take technology in your thoughts and help the brain to help people in their life. And now, because we're all getting better looking and more intelligent with age, we're all concerned about our brain. So it seems like after 30 years of doing this, people are now out there in the general public. I know with your history and, and working with your son, that you've been involved in this field for a long time, knowing that um, how I work with chiropractors. Um, and the main reason is that I'm a, I work with the brain and chiropractors work with the nervous system and 70% of the nervous systems in the brain. So it's a, it's a good connection in what we do. So, you know, I think when we get together and through the years, um, actually it was a chiropractor um, who gave me my first job. So when uh, Carl Parker, when he was still alive and he contacted me and said, hey, can you help chiropractors uh, do more with their practice? You know, these doctors are only making money when they have their hands on people. And so we put together what we called a Cairo spa and we started to promote that out into the country in 2006 through 2009 until of course Carl passed away, which was unfortunate for the industry. But since then, we've been just working with doctors, finding new ways, better ways to help them to get better clinical results and um, helping them with their, with their mind space, if you will, their head space, so that uh, people can think better, live longer, and uh, improve the quality of their life. And that's been my mission. I've, I, I constantly take training myself ever since my training back in the, in the early 80s. And uh, even though it did take me 12 years to get my PhD, I kept going back to school and doing it while I was working with my father and doing things. Um, I'm very happy to be where I'm at now and, uh, you know, being willing to uh, have me on the show. I really appreciate this and, and I look forward to you know, working with the group at homecoming. So um, let's begin our little presentation here today. And then I guess, Dr. John, if you have some questions about some things, we can take that at the end uh, once I'm done or if you have some questions during during the presentation. So when we think I sure about- will. I, I have myself muted just so I don't interfere anything at all. So it'll take me a minute to un unmute if you ask me a question, but I'm here. Okay, thank you. So we're talking about the about what we do and we kind of focus it on this. People come to 
the clinics or they come to you as a doctor because they might have had a trauma. Now we deal with on the brain side, PTSD, fear, flashbacks, all these things happen and it could happen and I'm going to explain tonight how the pharmacy of the brain, how we can activate it so we can help to minimize the trauma. Now obviously if there's chiropractors on the line, you have a great method of dealing with that trauma. So we become a support mechanism for that. But then on top of that we have toxins and I know that when we were just talking about your, your system that you have, Dr. John, there's, you deal with this all the time. And what you've been dealing with and ex explaining and educating to people for the last you know, 40 years or however long you've been doing it or, more, or longer, now the public is finally becoming aware of these everyday chemicals that are there. And they're interfering with the way our body processes reality from the air we breathe to the water we drink to the chemicals we use to clean our homes. There's problems in some of those things and of course our bodies can deal with it but it has to be able to get offload those toxins so we always say there's traumas there's toxins but the most overlooked thing we find in therapy outside of the world of psychology where i'm at is thoughts and we call them toxic thoughts so we want to talk a little bit about how to change things and what i found over the years in working with people literally millions of people is in our clinics was that people don't understand the power of positive thinking or the power of a negative thought. Both are will, one can heal and one can harm and people aren't, ex, aren't exposed to the difference. Most of us through our lives, I was brought up in a, in a Catholic school environment so I was really taught, taught what to think, not how to think. These are the things we want you to think. We weren't taught how to think outside the box. Nowadays, we are the first group right now that's out there of age, I'm talking about anyone who's 45 years and older, we're the first group that refuses to be old, really. I mean, we wanna, we wanna still be active, we wanna hang around with our grandkids, we wanna be more. I remember my grandparents growing up, they basically, they didn't have much to do with the kids. I mean, we, we loved them, but they didn't get down and play with them. We, they, did, they weren't active. You know, the old idea that they wanna be in a rocking chair. Now, people want to grow old, but they want to stay physically strong. They want to be mentally alert. They want to be emotionally balanced. And I think that's where this whole wellness concept comes in that now the masses are refusing to grow old. And I think this is what is happening, but there's one thing that's stopping it. And we call it the epidemic of stress. And I, I can prove to you, and I'm going to show some slides here tonight, that all stress is brain stress. And the reason I have Dr. Emoto here, he's one of the doctors that we have, or he's obviously not alive for those that know Dr. Emoto. He passed away a couple of years ago. But at Quantum University, where I'm the Dean of Brain-Based Medicine, he was one of the professors we brought in. And luckily, we still have his videos that we show people online and teach people. But he was the first person to actually prove what happens when you basically imprint water with your thoughts. In, in his book, you know, the, the Secret of Water, and he was in a movie called What the Bleep Do We Know with like uh, Joe Dispenza and Ahmet Goswami, which are also professors at our university. And what, what Emoto proved was that when we think a thought about ourselves, this, the water, since we're mostly a water-based vehicle, our bodies are made up mostly of water uh, in, in that form, we take on that prasana of those thoughts. So the most negative people, literally are creating these negative reflections in their system and that generates out a field of energy if you will so we're talking about energy medicine here and and i'm going to get more into that as we go along but part of it is when we think healthy happy harmonious thoughts or thoughts about helping humanity if you will our body changes from the inside out it changes from the structure of the water within us to the way we express ourselves and the way our brain, the most powerful pharmacy on earth, the human brain can release up to 30,000 different neurochemicals with a simple thought. But also, if we get stressed out, then what happens is that stress inhibits our brain's productivity. Now, when I'm doing the live presentation, I'm doing this, we play several different games that show this conflict that's constantly going on between our brain and our body. Um, we have three brains. So I'm not just talking about the brain that's inside between our ears. There's the gut brain. There's the gut brain axis. And I know you deal a lot with that, Dr. John, in the, in the health world in bringing in the proper nutrition to get that gut balance. But the, and then chiropractors work with the nervous system brain because our nervous system has a brain. 
And for those that are listening tonight, if you if I ask you a simple question, which way does a doorknob turn? If you're really honest with yourself, you're going to have to think about it. And in that thought process, you're going to have an image of a door, and you're going to reach out with your hand and mentally visualize opening that door. The reason you do that is opening a door is no longer part of your cognitive thinking process, which means it's not part of your brain in your head. It's part of your nervous system brain. And so when we turn the doorknob, and that's kind of a trick question because doorknobs both turn to the right and to the left, depending upon how the door is hung. So the next time you go to a door, notice you don't think about that, but the unconscious, this part of our nervous system, our physiology knows. So if our physiology is stressed, if our the gut that gut access is stressed because maybe we're we're toxic on the inside, or if our brain stressed because of worry, fear, frustration, any negative emotions, any of those three stressors are going to cause or inhibit the body's natural state of health, harmony, and vitality, which is what we want. And why what happens when we use uh, we find the best use of the brain tapping system, especially in the world of chiropractic, is the chiropractor does the adjustment adjust that the physiology now we're going to adjust the psychology by putting on the brain tap and i'm going to explain what that is to everyone here in just a moment so for those that haven't experienced it hold on we're going to give you a chance to do that and then um, we're going to explain that program for you now this chronic stress results in something something we call sympathetic nervous system overload so this overstimulation the body habituates to it and this habituation of stress causes the body a cascade of different activities and it starts first with a thought and then creates a chemical corresponding reaction that creates an emotional response. So there's a thought, there's a chemical reaction, then there's an emotional response, then there's a physical activity. Now any of those disruptions in that information flow and we're not going to perform as well, we're not going to think as well, we're not going to respond to situation as well. That's why they say if you're under stress, don't make any big life decisions because you're not going to be thinking clearly. You're not going to, and when we, when, what we mean by that is you don't have all the options available to you. There's a saying actually in NLP that says choice is better than no choice. So if someone has only one choice and they're stressed out, they're probably going to make a bad choice because they don't have all the options available to them. Now, something that we call, that most people know as fight or flight, what happens is when you're in fight or flight, it doesn't really matter what nutrition you're taking because the gut now, all the blood to the gut, all the digestive processes in the body get put on hold. And while they're on hold, the body is thinking that it's being chased by a saber-toothed tiger. So what happens is you, might, you can be taking the greatest nutrition on earth, and if you're so stressed out, so filled with fear and worry and doubt that that it's just going to be eliminated. So part of it is relaxing. In fact, one of the greatest studies that, that I know that proves this point was done at Cal Berkeley, and they were studying people with, that would pray, pray before they ate. And what they found out, if they prayed before they ate, they had such a significant improvement in their digestive system that, if nothing else, you should calm down and pray before you eat just to prepare your body for the digestive process, to get yourself out of that fight or flight and say, hey, it's time to relax, to get into a different, and I'm gonna explain those brainwave states, really what's happening in the body, but as long as you're in that high stress state, your body can't handle or manage what's going on in the digestive tract. And I'm a big proponent of proper supplementation, and I believe everyone needs it, but we, we need this balance between these thoughts, traumas, and toxins so that we can really get it. Now, we believe at BrainTap that one third of the world's population is suffering from chronic low level stress. What we mean by that is every day they wake up stressed, they go to sleep stressed, they live their life in the stressed out experience, the spider flight all day long. When a pin drops, they, their skin crawls, they don't know how to respond, they're so worried, and then they wonder why they're in inflammation, high stress states, they're not able to heal, their relationships don't work, they're not able to think. All of these things that happen from high stress happen first because of that brain stress. So we wanna help people with that. That's our main mission here. So how do we activate the internal pharmacy? Now, one of the things that I'm hoping, Dr. John, is I'm gonna give you a link because you're, you're one of our, our partners in this. And I wanna give anyone who's watching this 
free access actually at the end of this presentation they can go and listen to these programs that are going to we're going to give them a link that you're going to provide for them it'll be accompanying this and they'll link it up and because they've listened to this video this podcast or if they're here live with us they'll be able to understand because what i'm explaining for some people is like explaining atmosphere to a fish they don't really know what it is until they actually experience it but how do you activate this first of all we activate it with pictures so when somebody has a stressful event happen to them it's not just the stressful event it's what pictures that stressful event creates in their own mind and what we know about the mind is it doesn't know the difference between real or imagined so if someone perceives a threat and they imagine it their body is going to feel that threat as if it's a true and real threat now if they go th through that over time if they create the internal pictures of dread and fear frustration anxiety anger all of those things those pictures are going to become triggers just like a computer program would be when we hit the icon on the desktop those pictures become an icon that run a program that even though they don't want to do it they do it anyway this is called a habit so there are so many people out there with the habit of feeling bad they don't know the habit of feeling good now 70 percent of the world's population their first trigger in their brain is pictures that's why tvs are so important and people sit in front of the tvs all day now thank god i don't do that but some people actually watch up to 50 hours of tv every week so they're getting their pictures from an external source like let's say you're feeling so happy you're feeling so good you're excited about the world that you've got to turn on the news now why would you do that the news is going to have you feeling helpless worried tired useless because the news is all negative but they're doing it with pictures now I can tell you right now the world is filled with much more positive things than we see on the 11 o'clock news they they have to actually look really hard to fill that half hour that hour of news all over the world to get people feeling so bad so what I say is turn off the news select what you're going to put into your mind as far as the pictures and the images and the concepts and we're gonna work on that a little bit today but you're gonna learn more when you download the, the brain tap app and start using it now sounds are very important sounds trigger different events now what's most important is how do we communicate with ourselves most of us since the moment we were born we're never taught to communicate with ourselves in fact we, we take our internal dialogue for granted but the reality is that we speak to ourselves all day long in fact science has now proven that we have at minimum a 5,000 word tape loop that plays from the moment we wake up in the morning to the moment we go to sleep and it probably doesn't stop there it probably continues to play and that loop tells us what to think how to think how to react how to interact our self-confidence our self-esteem our self-worth but we can change those sounds and we do that and in in my presentation sometimes i will guide people through these some of these exercises because in what what's called neurolinguistic programming they prove that when you change any of these they call them submodalities. so we all have a mode of communication how do we communicate with our brain if there's any interference for instance if you have a nagging voice that tells you that you should or shouldn't do something that nagging voice probably isn't going to motivate you in fact some people will take that nagging voice and try to feed it with inappropriate foods by stuffing it. So there's a lot of different reasons people do this, but these are the ways the internal, now if these things look familiar to you, kinesthetic being feelings, it's actually the five senses, but we're gonna talk about the big three tonight because what happens is these pictures create sounds which create feelings. Now for some people out there, they're gonna be triggered by feelings first, which will create sounds, which create pictures. Now, we don't have enough time to go through all of this, but what I want you to understand is the senses create the external experience, but the reality is anything that happens to us must first happen through us, which means we see it, we hear it, we experience it. Now, some people can experience one thing and get no stress at all, while other people will experience the same thing and get totally stressed out. So it really is how you internalize those experiences. 
And what we're talking about here, and when we talk about adding in the technology piece in a moment is, we need to learn really how to control our thoughts, the way we see, hear, and feel internally so that we can build that self-confidence, that self-esteem, and what we tell people is to develop an attitude like uh, when stress happens, it's like water off a duck's back. But you can't do that while you're in the stress. You've got to de-stress first. So think of your body just for a moment as a capacitor. What a capacitor is in an electronic circuit, it holds a charge. And then at a preset point, it discharges. Unfortunately, some people discharge by taking drugs. Maybe it's alcohol or smoking cigarettes or doing some kind of illegal drug. And some people do this by taking legal drugs. In fact, it's crazy to me to think that so many adults out there are on prescription medicine because they think they need to be on it the rest of their life because that's what their medical doctor told them. The reality is that we have the world's greatest pharmacy. Again, it resides between our ears. It can create incredible um, chemical reactions that can have us feeling really good or feeling really bad, but it's how we train the brain. Some people have never trained their brain. They simply took their brain and said, oh, I'm really smart or I'm really dumb or I'm really whatever. The reality is that we all have a 100 billion neurobit processor called the human brain. It's the most sophisticated computer ever created. And it's meant to do what is best for us, but it doesn't know what's best for us because it depends on what we focus on. That's what we become all day. So I want to talk just for a minute because people are saying, what do you mean? We have a lot of research with the brain tap. I've been doing this since 1986. So uh, just now, right now, we're doing a lot of work with the military. I was just up, at, up in New York at uh, Fort Drum where I was speaking to them about their PTSD program, but we have a really unique one going on at Kansas State. And I want to help the listeners understand this. When somebody has PTSD, not only do their, does their body is always in fight or flight, which is really bad, they're not sleeping, which I'm going to talk about why that's really important. They're not sleeping, but also they've created such a high level of anxiety. They're in this environment. Think about it. Back in World War II, Vietnam, any of the wars before this, our soldiers would go to war once and they would come home. We have soldiers now going back into the theater of war four to five times. So their brains are being habituated to a high level of stress and uncertainty, which allows them, and now they have to focus and they have to be at that high level of awareness because if they make one mistake, that could be their last mistake. So they built up this whole anxiety and they start to operate at this high level of efficiency and high beta, which I'm gonna talk about in a moment. And what happens, they come home. They're now discharged, they're home. At first, there's a lot of craziness, there's parties, there's celebrations, but after a couple of weeks, life, re life returns to normal, but it's not normal for the victim of PTSD. What happens is they're so used to having such stress and chaos in their life that now they have to create it. They have to create conflict with their family. They have to create conflict with their spouse. They have to create conflict with their job. And it's not because they want to create conflict, it's because when there's that state of chaos and conflict, they feel comfortable. So what we're doing with Kansas State University is we're showing them if we can train their brain first, the first step is to get them to sleep, and I'm gonna explain in a minute why the brain tapping system works so well to help people sleep. And then secondly, how we can change their thoughts. In fact, somebody with PTSD runs so many programs that to the average person, they think, that's crazy. Why would they need to sit with their back against the wall so they can see the door? when they're in America and they don't have to worry about somebody coming in and gunning them down. It's because they've conditioned themselves for all the, why when a loud noise happens, do they have a recall of a traumatic situation? Remember there's pictures, there's sounds, and there's feelings. Why when they start to feel relaxed, do they have to get back up and, and have that stress? Because they feel that uncertainty. All of these things are triggers that turn on their internal pharmacy that again create a chemical reaction, which creates a thought and an action. And for some people, that process happens very well, like a, let's say an Olympic athlete who's trained themselves to handle stress at the Olympics and they perform at that high level. But in other cases, like a, a, let's say a 
veteran of a foreign war or even a traumatic situation that happens in their home, that PTSD, that post-traumatic stress that happens, is triggered by many different things. So what we're proving here, and the reason I posted this is it's got an IRB, which uh, Kansas State University has kind of proven that there's no negatives to the brain tap. It's totally healthy. The, the study's going really well. And just so you know, all of our participants in the study are sleeping through the night, which is phenomenal. We've done this also with a, with a study we did down at Cranium down in Dallas, Texas with the Neurological Center there. So we're doing a lot to help these vets, but vets aren't the only ones with PTSD. In fact, there's so many of your patients right now are suffering from that that we could help. Now, the next thing is one of our other teachers is Bruce Lipton, and if you don't know his work, I think it's time for you to get online, search for Bruce Lipton. He, he, what he has shown is that something called, um, in our, our genetics and how things happen, a lot of people think that our, our DNA is fixed if you're born into a family that's an alcoholic or you have this problem or that problem, these, these uh, they call it epigenetics, that our, that our genome is fixed. What he proved was, and now science is backing it up, that only 20% of your genetic makeup is from your parents. So we can't blame our parents any longer. Everything in the universe, every atom, every molecule, every substance in the universe has a very unique oscillating pattern. It's vibrating, it can be measured. So what they also know is through visualization, through relaxation techniques, like we use with the brain tap, we are triggering the genetic makeup of the body. They've actually proven now that through meditation and relaxation techniques, you can change up to 2,300 genetic markers. You heard me right. You can change your genetic makeup by relaxing, visualizing, articulating, and affirming the change that you want to make. The brain controls the body, not the body controlling the brain. But it has to be practiced. It has to be rehearsed. So all of these things happen as you learn through them. So we have these great masters that have come before us that have proven these things out and now at the time of our lives right now most of us probably on this call are going to be between 30 and 30 plus years up to over 70 here so as we think about this we want to grow old with our memories we don't want to forget them we want our brain to operate efficiently and effectively that our brain doesn't have to shut down we can stay healthy and be healthy, and that's what we're talking about here, because it all starts first with a thought, and that thought creates a chemical corresponding reaction in the body, the pharmacy is turned on, and then a behavior is generated. So when everything is in alignment, we become healthy. The body and mind work together to create a fantastic change in the system, and that's what we're talking about here. So we use light, sound, and vibration, and I know Dr. John's been talking about light for a long time, so you can learn a lot about that there. And we're not here to just simply talk about that here, but the reality is that you are made up of empty space. Every person who's watching this video, listening to this conversation, you are made up of almost all space. Now what science tells us now is there's not really space there. There's information, that it's vibrating. It has an intelligence and that intelligence and there's something right now that we call mitochondrial health. At, at the cellular level, if your body is not turned on, it starts to shut down. The brain is a very important organ, but it uses 20% of the resources of the body. So if we can get light into the brain, which I'm going to be talking about in a moment and why we do that, we can turn on the brain. First of all, we can heal the brain because the brain can heal just like the liver can heal itself. Light comes in, nitric oxide is triggered, vasodilation, blood flow circulation. Now when you're taking that great supplement that Dr. John recommends and you use that supplement in your body, what happens now that supplement gets into the brain because we're building those neural pathways, we're building those blood flow and circulation pathways, we're turning on the lymphatic system which I'm gonna talk about in a moment and how that works within the brain so that there is a complete and total health experience. Now, the nice thing about light as it moves through the body, and we're gonna talk about it in a moment, this, this ATP, is that it circulates through the body as, as photons and those photons circulate through the body 
And if the cell needs it, it borrows that photon. If it doesn't need it, it, keep, it passes right by to the next cell that needs it. So light is one of the most underprescribed nutrients on the planet. That's why we have such problems as seasonal affective disorder. Now, for those that live in sunshine states like Phoenix or Florida, it's not that bad. But now in the northern states, especially during winter, they're not getting the light that we need. Our bodies are designed to be photaic in nature, which means we need light to process all the things we do, from the supplements we take to the foods we consume to the beverages we drink. All of that is triggered by an internal response and an internal clock that happens based on the light of the sun at the position we're in on Earth. So we need to be in the right space, the right place, and in tune with our environment. And this light does that. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that today. Now, one of the things we can do is we have a piece of technology we call the Alpha Scan. And we can scan somebody before and after a brain tap session. And by the way, for those chiropractors out there, we can do the same thing with chiropractic adjustment. But what we see here is, and I'm going to break these down a little bit as we go through the talk, but we can see that they were functioning at about 37% of the 100% maximum of their body. But after they came online, the brain tap session, what it did was it actually brought the nervous system back online through light, sound, and vibration up to about 67%. Now, we did a study with 50 of our of our members in our clinic here in New Bern, North Carolina. And we showed that in one session, we can improve the nervous system by up to 30%, like actually about 27.5%. And then that baseline improved because of duration and frequency. We would see those patients every uh, three times a week for a month. And we found their baseline, which means when they came in in 30 days, their baseline was the 67 and they can improve it from there. So our goal when we see a, a patient or a client in our clinic is to try to get them over 80% efficiency. And we found over the years, especially with this kind of tool, that what's called data pulse analysis, we can evaluate the nervous system. We can show people right away how the body's responding. And the nice thing is if you're doing some things with certain supplements, we can even show how the supplement is helping the nervous system. But this is a neat thing and, and at the homecoming event, We'll have this technology there. So if you're there, we can give you a scan. And it doesn't cost anything. Just come by our booth. We'll set you up. We'll let you see how your nervous system is doing. Now, I want to talk again about what happens in the brain and how this works. So let's say somebody has damage to their frontal lobe. It's going to interfere with their beta brainwave activity or their production of dopamine. This means that they won't have the power to function as they really need to be. Their metabolism is going to slow down. It's going to affect the brain's ability to process information. Now, the thing about this is that every one of us has had some form of brain injury. I mean, I have grandkids now, and if you had children, I have children too, of course, because I have grandkids, but when you hit your head, there's damage. Now, how does the brain remodel around it? Thank God for most of us, our brain remodels around that, and, and there's no problem. But for some people, they get such damage that the brain never jumps back in because there's too much toxin buildup. Think about it when you bruise your thigh, when you hit it against the table and you get a bruise, that bruise just doesn't go away. It takes time. But it's in an area where the lymphatic vessels flow freely and easily. It detoxes. The brain does something different, and it only detoxes during sleep. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that in a moment. So we need to detox the brain, give the right nutrients to the brain. And I know Dr. John has those nutrients, so we can, we can put those two together. And now if we provide the right light, sound, and vibration to that area of the brain, we can open it back up to healing because the body only needs the power source to turn back on. The body's intelligence, that innate intelligence, knows exactly what to do if we provide it the right environment in which to thrive. And that's what we're really doing here with the BrainTap system. So what happens? What does a brain look like? Most of the population that we would scan would be about 41% delta. And I'm going to talk in just a minute about these different brain waves. So if you're not familiar with what they are, you don't want to be awake and be at 41% delta. That would mean that your brain, in this person that we're showing here, they are doing all the work while they're awake. About 59% of their brain is doing 100% of the work. That means by the end of the day, this person is going to be tired irritable, they're not going to be functioning well. 
because their brain isn't turned on. Their brain is literally, it's like running with a parachute behind you. But after a brain tap session, you can see here what we did was we brought up beta, we brought up alpha, and we also brought gamma into balance. And delta was knocked down. This means that this person is now going to have a calm, relaxed focus. This is almost a perfect brain wave. Now, we can't guarantee this for everyone who used the brain tap right away, but I can tell you that in our studies, after three times of using the equipment, the brain will follow the training because it happens on the unconscious level. Bruce Lipton says this, and, and we believe it to be true, is that most people try to change the 2% that's conscious, but the 98% that's unconscious that's running your life, like the digestion of the food, the heartbeat, your breathing, the cellular change in your body at a rate of 50 million cells per second, all of that is being done unconsciously. Your brain learns the same way through frequency following response. That's where the brain tap system comes in. By using light, sound, and vibration, we can train the brain to move through these different brainwave spectrums. And once the brain experiences them, it returns back to the healthiest natural state possible. Now, when we talk about the parietal lobes and we talk about alpha, remember we're going to talk about the four primary brainwaves here. Each of these brainwaves represents the production of a different neurotransmitter. And if you don't get these brainwaves in the right frequency, in the right range, your body is depleting it, doesn't ha it has a depletion of these neurotransmitters. So acetylcholine happens when you're in the alpha state. So it helps you to control the electrical speed of the brain. It relates to firing large neurological networks. That's why it's so important in alpha when you're in this creative state, what we call this intuitive state of your mind, because pictures, just like using a graphic uh, program on your computer, it eats up the energy of the computer. So too, this imaginary process, this creative process in our brain, uses a lot of energy and uses a lot of memory and storage and process. So when we train people to get into the alpha brainwave, what happens now is we turn on the production. Now, the production of these neurotransmitters doesn't happen in the brain. It's the neurons in the brain that instruct your gut to produce these neurotransmitters. So if you don't have good gut health, you can't produce these neurotransmitters. Now, there are some people that supplement neurotransmitters, and that's great. But our body's natural pharmacy is the best pharmacy. So if we can be in the right natural state to activate our body's natural abilities, we're going to get better and better results. So here we're going to show a picture. When somebody, this is somebody, the same person that I showed you earlier, they came in. This shows the electrical activity of the brain. This means how much electrical movement is happening between the right and left hemisphere of the brain across the region of the brain called the corpus callosum. At this point, there's only 40% of the energy or electric activity. That means that they are doing 100% of the work with 40% of the electrical power of the brain. Now, obviously, you want to be as much to, as close to 100% as possible, but this person can't because their brain is tired. Remember, their brain was at 41% delta. It wanted to go to sleep. It did not want to be awake. But after one 20-minute session, they were able to kickstart their brain, bring it up to 88%. So one of the things we do at our seminars and, and at presentations like we'll do at Homecoming is we can show people pre and post what happens so that we actually call this the St. Thomas effect if people know that because in, in the Bible it talks about how St. Thomas didn't believe what happened until he could put his fingers in the nail holes of, of Christ. So some people don't believe it until they actually see some really physical uh, evidence that it happens. So we can do this with this... Uh, the, uh, this data pulse analysis, or we can do it with a EEG. Now the problem with EEG, it takes about 40 minutes, but we do have a really great piece of equipment at the office where we can show people. We've also used the Muse, which is a, another piece of technology that can show people how their brain is changing. Now we talk about theta waves, which is very hard to get to. It's, it's hard to get to theta if you're not using light, sound, and vibration. In fact, I would say it's virtually impossible for the average American. It takes somebody who goes off and meditates for 20, 30 years to get any high degree of theta going. But with the brain tap, we can get everybody there in three sessions or less. And that's gonna turn on GABA. Now, this helps the brain to help it to fire together. It provides a calmness to the brain. So when we get into deep levels of theta, it's a very narrow brainwave state. But if, if there's damage to the temporal lobes, it's going to inhibit the theta brainwave activity. It's going to inhibit, inhibit GABA.
But if we can get into those brainwave states, we've turned on, again, the pharmacy that exists in our own brain that allows our body to function as it was intended. You know, it's natural to go through these theta states, but most people only experience theta during a state of uh, when they're going to sleep at night and when they're waking up in the morning. Theta is also known as a hypernesia state, a super memory state. That's why if you remember something like first thing in the morning, maybe you heard a song on the radio, and that song stuck in your head all day, it's because you triggered high degrees of theta brainwave activities that triggered this GABA response. Now, we can also see there's the, the biological age of a person and there's the neurological age of a person. Now, we can, like this person here that I was measuring, they're 62 years old. When they first started, they had a biological age, or really a neurological age of 57. That means that their body, they're doing pretty good. I mean, most people we see in our clinic aren't this good. But after a session, you can see his body came back online. His body is acting like a 34-year-old instead of a 62-year-old. This means there's hope for him to get his body back in shape, to get it where it needs to be. They say that our bodies are designed to live to be 147 years old. That's what science is telling us. But most of us wouldn't want to live to be 147 because we'd be hooked up to every machine and taking every pharmaceutical drug on earth. So we've got to take care of ourselves early, take the right supplements, think the right thoughts, be healthy in our thoughts and actions, and then we get the kind of life that we desire. Now, the last brainwave that we're going to talk about, which talks about serotonin, because so many people take this, this SSREs, the serotonin, uh, I mean this uh, serotonin uptake inhibitors, and what happens is they take it, but the problem is that most people are in high delta anyway, so they're overproducing serotonin anyway, and then the brain stops producing it. And then they give them the supplement that gives them a false sense of high. But when you get the deep states of sleep, deep sleep is so important, and there's something called delta burst. If we can get those deep delta bursts during sleep, that's what's really key. You can sleep for nine hours, but if you don't get deep sleep, which a lot of the now the new apps or the watches that you can get or the new ways you can sh you can follow your own sleep patterns. If you don't get deep sleep, you don't get you don't you're not awake and rested and relaxed and rejuvenated. You've laid in bed all night, but you haven't rested. You haven't recharged your body. So we need this deep delta sleep to happen. So if the occipital lobe has been damaged, it's going to damage our ability to sleep. So part of this, remember, we're bringing light, we're bringing sound, we're bringing vibration into the brain, and that's opening up these neural pathways that allow the blood to flow freely with the light, opening up the nitric oxide to, to help vasodilation, to help blood flow circulation. Now the nutrients, now when we provide the brain the right nutrients, now the brain can absorb those nutrients. We've also triggered the lymphatic drainage which happens in the brain, and that lymphatic drainage actually helps to detoxify the brain so we can get the right nutrients in. Now we talk about metabolism. Back in, in uh, 2006, um, my franchise company was actually featured in People Magazine. And in People Magazine, they wanted to know, do we have anyone that has taken half their weight off and kept it off for more than five years? Well, we literally had hundreds of people. And what, they wanted to know, why does this device using light, sound, and vibration help people to build their metabolism? We didn't have any way at that time to tell them other than the fact that people were losing about a pound a week. And this was before we knew much about nutritional supplementation and doing it. Now we get even faster weight loss using the right nutrition. But in the, in the process, we were just using our technology and helping people to eat smarter. But after one session, you can see here, they started with 120 metabolic energy units. After the session, they went to 363, which means wow, they're really turning on, they're, they're now a fat burning machine, they're bringing in 149 and they're burning 214. Now this happened by a person laying down, in a moment I'm gonna show you the equipment, their eyes are closed, they're using light through closed eyelids, there's lights going in the ears, they're relaxed, they're comfortably listening, they're taking a nap for all intents and purposes for 20 minutes, a power nap, but their body shifts as if something mysterious happened here, but it's really the nervous system coming back online. Now, the nice thing for those chiropractors out there, we've measured also pre and post chiropractic adjustment. Every time you do an adjustment, you're actually boosting their metabolism. 
So the more someone gets adjusted, the better their body is functioning. We've proven that. Now, if you do the adjustment and then you add the brain tapping system in right afterwards, you're going to find that that, that result that you've gotten is actually improving and, and helping to get better clinical results, helping that to last longer and get the benefits that they want from your therapy. Now, we call it technology-assisted visualization and relaxation. And you can see here, there's, a, there's light and sound in the ears. Some people go, what is that all about? Well, the light and sound in the ears is actually based on something called auricular therapy. That means that we can take different points in the ears. Now, some of the doctors listening know this because they use lasers to do this. You can put lasers on different parts of the ears and you trigger different responses. What we want to do is a little different. We did this for autistic people. Uh, when we're working with autistic children, they don't understand how to relax. So we need to come up with a, a technology that they could wear on their ears that would broadcast a frequency. We use a 297 hertz frequency, the nosier frequency for the nervous system and the brain, the bones in the brain. So as it's broadcast into the body, the lights aren't on all the time. They're actually broadcasting that frequency. The nervous system hears that and says, let's, let's turn off sympathetic overload. Let's turn on parasympathetic rest, relax, and healing. And what we found was within three minutes, we could take these children that were actually in a stem state, which means their body was throwing off so much energy, and basically they would pass out. They would fall asleep. And the parents are going, what's going on with my kids? And we're, I'm telling them we're instructing and training the nervous system that when it's time to sleep, we can turn off all this busyness, this busy brain, and we can help you to rest, relax, and recharge. Once the brain's in that rest, relax, and recharge, innate intelligence takes over and the change happens. And this is a very simple device. You put it on, it starts to work. Now our new technology actually has Bluetooth, so there's no wires necessary. Now in the clinical setting, you're gonna to wanna to use a wire because you don't wanna have five or six uh, brain taps on Bluetooth running around your office, but you can use a, there's a hard wire program that works with that. And we can talk about that a little bit more later. Now, I wanna talk a little bit today about neuroplasticity because back 10 years ago, the scientific community believed that once we had our brain formed, it couldn't be changed. But now through science, we know that neuroplasticity happens. This means your brain is not fixed, it never is. It's just like the nervous system. It changes every 72 hours. So by bringing light, sound, and vibration into the brain, we can kickstart the brain's recovery. Once the brain is active, again, that controls every other system of the body and gets the body back working. It's going to increase that circulation. It's going to reduce inflammation, which is key to healing. There's so much inflammation going on in the brain and the body that the body doesn't know what to do with it. So if we can get that inflammation turned down, we can start turning on healing. It's gonna produce energy at the source, that mitochondria help that, that think of the mitochondria, the, the center of the cell like a furnace. If it's not turned on, it's not working properly. And then we're gonna bring nutrients to the nerves. So, I mean, we actually have a program for neuropathy. We have programs for over 43 different things that doctors use in their clinics. But the, the main thing is, that we're bringing light, sound, and vibration to the brain to turn on these stressed out, tired brains so that the brain, the innate intelligence of the body can go to work healing the body. Now, what is ATP for those that don't know that? These, these photons that we use increase the production of ATP. Think of ATP like currency for the body. So as they wear our brain tap headset, the light through the eyes, the eyes aren't just attached to the brain, your eyes are your brain. So we're bringing light into the brain that way. We're bringing it in through the ears. We can circulate through something called photobiomodulation because the blood circulates through the ears every four to five minutes, depending upon how fast your heart is beating. And that, remember, that's, that's like blood doping, but it's doing it with photons. So they call it photobiomodulation. That, that light is gonna circulate through the body where it is needed, and it's gonna act as currency. The body's gonna take that light, absorb it. Now you can use it for energy function, for rejuvenation, for cell repair. You can bring about health and healing because the body now has the nutrient, the light that it needs to turn on the healing at the cellular level. Now, let's talk just for a little bit here 
as we wrap up this call, a little bit about how you can leverage our technology to grow your business. Now, we're going to talk more about this, of course, at, when, we're, when we're there one-on-one -on -one with you at homecoming. But we want to give you an opportunity, those of you that have stayed with me this far, to learn a little bit about it. So we've created something, and most of you know, obviously, about Dr. John's Six Steps to Wellness Protocol. We can actually mirror or match up with all of our 800 sessions, the sessions that are going to work best with each of Dr. John's protocols. You'll be able to try that out with us. Now, as soon as Apple approves the app, this will be available. So I'm going to give you a link. You can sign up now. It's not going to cost you anything. You can start playing with it, seeing how it works. And we can work with you to see how we can implement this practice. But we want to make sure you understand that it's going to work with programs that you currently already know, that you love, that can help you to not only monetize it, but help you to get the clinical results that you want. Because we're going to add that psychological component that maybe you've, you've left out. And you don't have to hire a therapist. The nice thing about this app is it's me recorded. And I always show up as long as there's power on the device. You press play, and I'm there to help you out to, to help your patients get the results they're wanting from it. So just so you know, we're... There we have different levels of apps from $9.99 up to $30. We have an affiliate program. I'm not going to go into that all right now, but we have different levels of training in like Brett Grimhall, Dr. Brett. He's one of our licensees, so he's using it at the clinical level, but he's also sharing with patients to take home. So there's many different ways, and we can talk about this one-on-one -on -one after this call, but I just want to make sure you understand that this is something that's very affordable, the BrainTap headset itself is less than $500. So it's not an expensive investment, but it can bring you great results as far as helping your patients. So we have something that we know that most of you, this might be the first time you've ever heard of BrainTap, the first time you've ever heard of Patrick Porter or Dr. Porter. So we want to interest you and have you take action on something we call the BrainTap Challenge, which will be up there. So this challenge is going to, all you have to do is buy one headset, we're going to bonus you. We're going to give you all the information like you bought the location license. We're going to give you 60 days unlimited play with it, and we're going to work with you along the way during those 60 days to step you through and learn how to implement it for yourself because we believe that you need it for yourself first. Now, we're going to post these different links in a place where you can go to them easily, but it's if you go to braintaptech.com forward slash brimhall dash challenge, you're going to find that when you do that, you're going to get what I've just told you because this isn't available to anyone else. No one else has ever been offered this brain tap challenge before. Well, we're doing it here because I want to, when I go to the homecoming, I want to have a number of doctors that have been using it, getting results with it, that we've coached through the program of using brain tap and do it in a way that's affordable to you so we can get the results and start getting the rest of your community here with Brim Hall Wellness, get it, getting the results that we know are possible when you add in this component. You're getting great results right now, there's probably no doubt, but now we're going to add another facet to that to help you to do it. Now, this is also a technology that you as a doctor don't have to administer. This can all be done by your CA. In fact, at our clinic in New Bern, the clients actually come in and set themselves up. It's so easy to use. Once you train them how to use it, most people already have an app on their phone. They know how to use tablets, so it's something they can do on their own. Now, the other thing that I want, because this is something that I know is new to everyone, I'm going to make sure Dr. John has this link. I want you each to have a copy of my book, The Thrive and Overdrive. Now, I've written nine different books, but this is the book that's going to tell you the most about the technology. It's going to tell you why it's so important to have it, and it's free. So you can download this book from this this link that I'm sharing with you right now costs you nothing. We don't ask for any of your information when you do it. So it's totally anonymous. I want you to download the book, read it, learn about it, educate yourself, and then start to use the latest technology to boost not only your practice, but your overall wellness IQ. Because as you start to implement this, you're going to find that your life is going to change in an infinite number of ways, and it all starts with your thoughts. You know, just as we have a program in there, we have programs on the brain tap for many different things. We did a program with Napoleon Hill Foundation, which is the Think and Grow Rich model. We have 17 sessions on that. So if you have a problem with, with money or mastering money, we have a way to help you to do that. So we want to help you go online, 
invest in at least getting the free trial to see what we can do to help you. And then let's have a conversation about that. And now, Dr. John, I'll open it up if you have any questions of me about anything we've discussed tonight. Well, I tell you what, that that's a mouth and ear full and a brain full. That's incredible. I, I was just wishing everybody in the world was hearing you, so we need to work on that for sure. I don't know what questions I could possibly ask other than to ask them to get to homecoming, let you go over this with them, show them in person, have three days of, of this equipment turned on, and they get to experience it. Now, they would have had to copy down what we have going on here, but so they know we've recorded this live tonight, and we will have this sent out to you in the next 24 to 48 hours so you have access to this entire talk and uh, get prepared for making the changes. I have been using this myself. Dr. Brett has been using it for several years. I, I did not jump in when he first told me about it because I had so many other projects going on, but this helps me, and I can tell it when I do a session. And I have the, here at the house, uh, Dr. Brett actually has patients come in. And to begin, he charges them $30 a session to do it at the office, encourages them to buy their own equipment, like you said, $500, and they can be set up for life to continue to, to get better every day. Yes, it's very true. So at this stage of the game, Doc, I, uh, I think we turn it off. We email this out to them. We get them to come to homecoming uh, that's going to be coming up in February, the last weekend in February in Tempe, Arizona. You'll be here, and we'll be leading them to light and wellness. Yes, I look forward to seeing you all at the Brim Hall uh, homecoming, and we'll we'll get you on the brain tap, and we'll also be able to check out your nervous system, see how you're doing pre and post. Exciting. All right, gang, we appreciate you being on here. We've kept our word to stay within the hour. You'll be receiving this in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. If for some reason you don't get it, give the office a call at 480-964-5198. That's Jason at 480-964-5198. We'll make sure you get this technology right to your home. Thank you, Doc. We appreciate it. Right, you here and having you again. And he's already written one puzzle piece for us. I tried to get him to do something once a month between now and homecoming so you can hear, get more of these thoughts in your, your own brain and use them. Good night and God bless. Okay, good night.